Greetings, greetings, greetings. How everybody doing today? I'm going to get started in about 20 more seconds. Okay, my name is Apostle Elisa Biggers, and I would like to welcome you to Deliver Me Nuggets. All I need is about 15 minutes of your time. This is a 15-minute encouragement. It's an advertising of one of my, um, I have a Deliver Me From Me coaching where I do one-on-one -on -one coaching um, through biblical teaching. And so if you're interested, please inbox me. So I just do like 15-minute encouragement every Tuesday at 6.15. And this is a spinoff where we would do one-on-one -on -one specializing on what it is that you're dealing with to help you um, to deal with the issues that you're dealing with. Blessings, woman of God. How you doing? How you doing? Today, we're going to talk about dealing with mental perversion. Dealing with mental perversion. You may say, what is mental perversion? A lot of times we think perversion has something to do with sex. No, perversion has to do with seeing things the wrong way. When you look at the word uh, mental perversion, it's seeing through the wrong lens. It's looking at things through the wrong perspective. When you're looking at a situation and a circumstance through a, di a distorted view, um, looking at it through the eyes of corruption, because a lot of times in our mind, we're entertaining negative thoughts. We're entertaining and negative feelings, and we're looking at things mentally the wrong way. We're looking at situations as if blessings, as if I can't handle this. This is too hard for me. This is too much. I can't handle this job. I can't start the business. I can't get this house. I can't get this car. Nobody will never marry me. Nobody will never be with me. A lot of times we're looking at things from the wrong perspective, and we don't understand blessings, woman of God. We don't understand that we're looking through the lenses of, of, of negativity, and and when you're looking through the lenses of negativity, you got to understand that you're drawing demonic spirits. We got to understand that your thoughts are spiritual. So when you're thinking negative thoughts in your mind, you got to understand that you're giving a low frequency in the realm of the spirit. And so when you're speaking negative and you're talking negative, you're drawing negative energy to you. And when this negative energy is coming to you, it's going to cause you to see things from the wrong perspective. This is why God said we got to be intentional in what we're doing. Regardless of what you're going through, regardless of what your situation may look like, we got to begin to understand that your, throat, your thoughts, the way that you think the Bible says, so is a man thinking, so is he. So if you look at a situation that I'm not going to make it. If you look at a situation, it's too hard. It's too difficult for me. Guess what? The situation is going to be that because that is what you're saying. When you look at Job, the third chapter, verse 25, Job said, the thing for I feared the most have come upon me and what I dread has happened to me. Can I tell you a lot of times when we begin to think negative, that thing that you don't want to happen, you are drawing that negative energy to you. You are drawing them negative thoughts to you. And those demonic spirits are going to come to you, and it's their job to make happen what you've been fearing the most. This is why we got to deal with the mental perversion. We got to be intentional. We got to get in the Word. You got to be intentional by getting in the Word, and you got to begin to see things through the eyes of God. Can I tell you, you cannot look at things through, through your own eyes. You can't look at it through the eyes of other people. This is why it's very important to open up the Word of God so you can see your situation through the lenses of Holy Spirit. Because when you see it through the lenses of Holy Spirit, blessings next thing, when you see it through the lenses of Holy Spirit, guess what? You're going, you're, 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 you're activating angels to help you. You're activating heaven to help you. And a lot of times we think that it's just going to happen miraculously. We think that God is just going to rescue us and that thing going to automatically be all right. Can I tell you, it don't work like that in the kingdom. You got to understand that you got to work to do. And God is dependent on you to get your mind together, to get focused, to get in the word of God and to see how God sees your situation. Because can I tell you, if the doctor said that you're sick, when you go to in the word of God, the word of God is saying that God said with his stripes, you are healed. So you got to begin to reject. You got to reject the negative thoughts that you feel in your, that you see in your mind, that you feel, that you hear, what people is telling you. You got to reject those negative thoughts 
off and you got to begin to agree with what God says about your situation. That's why it's called a spiritual battle or spiritual warfare. You can no longer go on your feelings because your feelings will lie to you. This is why it's called a mental perversion because your mind can control everything else. And so if you are thinking negative, you automatically going to, you automatically going to see negative because that's what you're thinking in your mind. So the Bible said we got to cast down every wicked imagination, every thought, every argument, anything that's put in your mind to make you see things through the wrong eyes, through the wrong lenses, you got to reject it. And you got to begin to get in the word, make yourself get in the word, find a scripture based on what it is that you're dealing with. And you quote that scripture, you ponder on that scripture, you meditate on that scripture, you think upon it and you begin to believe God blessings, elder, you begin to believe God to work it out on your behalf. Can I tell you, you got to operate in faith in this season. You can't think, well, I don't see God moving. It don't look like, guess what? God don't need any signs. He just needs your faith. He needs you to be at a place that you begin to ponder on the word. You begin to eat the word. You begin to chew the word. You got to think on this word. This is where you got to begin to cast down and change your thinking patterns. That's why it says in Romans 12, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You can't be consumed. You can't conform your mind to the thoughts of the world, but you got to form new coping habits. You got to begin to put new thoughts in your mind, new belief systems. You got to begin to stand on the word of God. Can I tell you, you got to stop putting negativity, drama, chaos, confusion, worry, stress, negativity. You can't put that in your mind and think that you're going to see things through the eyes of God. You can't listen to a lot of mess. You can't listen to somebody always keep telling you their problems over and over and over again and think that you're going to see your situation through the right perspective. See, a lot of times we listen to a lot of junk and then when things happen to us, we feel some kind of way. Not understanding that your mind has been perverted. Your mind has been perverted because if you keep listening to a lot of negativity and you don't get in the word of God and allow the word of God to watch your thoughts, to watch the way you see things, can I tell you you gonna look at things from a perverted manner and a perverted manner is causing you to look at things twisted I can't pass the test, I can't get the job, I can't start my business they not gonna give me the house, they're not gonna give me the car, see you're, you're talking negative and that's through a perverted mind, a perverted mind sees things in a negative manner and you got to understand if you're going to walk in a healthy place, if you're going to walk in a deliverance place, you got to be intentional even when you don't feel like it. You got to begin to say, I can do this. The job is mine. I'm going to get this house. I'm going to get the car. I'm going to get married. You got to begin to say, you know what? I love myself. I'm going to lose this way. I can pass this test in school. You got to begin to talk to yourself. You got to understand that your brain don't know the difference between the thoughts and in your imagination. And so this is why you got to begin to speak what you want to see. You got to get it focused on your mind and understand that you got to fight this invisible battle. A lot of times people in this season, we're moved by what we see. We're moved by the atmosphere. You got to understand you can't be moved by the atmosphere. You got to understand that you got to stand on the word of God. That's it, elder. And you're going to have to have some faith. You got to ask Holy Spirit. You got to say, Holy Spirit, lead me and guide me. Show me the right direction. Help me to make the right decisions. Because can I tell you, when your mind is perverted, you're going to make the wrong decisions. You're going to make bad decisions. This is why you got to say, Holy Spirit, show me. Holy Spirit, teach me. Holy Spirit, guide me through this trial. Guide me through this battle. Guide me through this problem that I'm dealing with. You got to begin to open up your mouth so you can change your thought process. You got to stop focusing on the negative. I'm going to say that again. Stop focusing on the negative. Stop Stop focusing on what did not happen. Stop telling people over and over what the enemy doing and begin to start professing the word of God. You got to understand when you're dealing with a perverted mind, all you do is tell the negative and you talk more about the devil than you do about God. We got to begin to understand if I'm going to change the way that I see things, if I'm going to change the way I see my situation and my circumstances, I got to speak through, I got to speak what the word of God says about my situation. I can't speak what I feel. Because can I tell you, your feelings will lie to you. Your feelings will tell you that you're not going to make it. 
Your feelings will tell you that God don't hear your prayers. And you got to understand that's them negative thoughts in your mind. And that's why you got to say, devil, I rebuke you. I cast down them lies. So you got to start opening up your mouth and start dealing with those demonic spirits. The Bible say Jesus cast out the devils. We got to begin to start casting out demonic thoughts that come to your mind. Because if we're going to be a healthy people, you got to understand you just don't get healthy by yourself. You, It's going to take a fight. It's going to take a war. Why? Because we didn't get like this overnight. We got the way that we are through years and years. And some of it, some of it is through our childhood. And see, and this is why we got to begin to look at the word of God. See what we're doing is wrong. Check our thoughts. You got to be open to the truth. You got you to gotta make up your mind that you're going to accept the truth. Regardless of whether or not you don't like it. Whether or not it make you feel some kind of way. You got to understand the Bible say the truth is what's going to make you free. You got to begin to recognize what's in your thoughts thinking. That's it, Apostle. That stinking thinking. You got to begin to recognize when, you, when the devil tell you, oh, go spend this, spend this, spend this, and you know that you should be doing all that spending. You got to know that that's a demonic spirit talking to you. Your mind is perverted, and you got to begin to allow the word of God to deal with you. You got to operate in some self-control. Can I tell you, because you can't think, well, I work hard. I can do whatever I want to do, but can I tell you, with that mindset, it will lead you into poverty. Can I tell you, with that spirit of self-gratification, feeling like you got to gratify yourself every day. Can I tell you that that, that, that that particular situation will lead you where the enemy is going to always use you and you won't have anything. This is why God is saying this is the time that you got to deal with your perverted mind. This is where our thoughts are unclean. This is where our thoughts, where we're looking at our situation, I never get out of this. That's an indication your mind is perverted. This here is too much. I feel like I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. I feel like I'm going to die. I can't make it. This is making me sick. You got to understand the Bible say death and life is in the power of your tongue. We in the body of Christ, we got to understand our words are destroying us. The devil don't have to destroy you. You are destroying you by your words. And we got to understand if you're going to be delivered, you got to be intentional by speaking power positive words. Can I tell you, you may don't see a, a, a change right away, but can I tell you, if you be consistent, you're going to begin to see things change and you're going to begin to see that you're going to start making healthier um, thought processes and healthier choices. This is why God's saying, people of God, we got to deal with the mental perversion. We got to begin to be intentional, seeing things the way that God sees them. Meditate on the word. Ponder on the word. Think upon the word. Say what God says about your situation. You don't have to feel it. You just got to believe it. He needs you to believe his word over what you see. And I guarantee you, you will begin to see things change in your life. Not my guarantee, but God's heaven's guarantee that he said that death and life is in the power of your tongue. So when you start speaking his word, he's obligated to bring what it is that you've been speaking to pass. So as I close out of this week, of deliver me nuggets deal with the mental perversion don't feel uh, uh, offensive because I said that your thoughts are perverted hey I had to begin to recognize that my thoughts was being perverted the way that I looked at situations because it looked like it was too hard for me but it was just right for God and that's why God said uh uh deal with them perverted thoughts and deal with those perverted words that you've been speaking out your mouth and I guarantee you you will see change so as I close out of this this week on Deliver Me Nugget, deal with the mental perversion. You all be blessed. Amen.